a fitness program for the brain. Now that's something interesting. Pat Fernandez takes us to the BrainFit Studio, which provides neuroscience-based brain fitness programs. Hi, Pat. Hillary, to learn more about brain fitness and the cognitive map, we're here at BrainFit Studio in San Juan. And with us are teachers Jeanette and Ivy. Good morning. Welcome to Daybreak. Good morning. Okay, so tell us more about brain fitness. All right. Just like um, physical fitness, no, which is uh, our foundational body skills that influence our performance in sports, brain fitness is our foundational brain skills no, that influence our performance in school, work, and daily life, and of course, our achievements. No? Now, um, there are five fundamental areas of brain fitness no, that form the vital foundation for learning. We have the uh, attention system of the brain, all right, the auditory system, we have the sensory motor, social emotions, and the visual system of the brain. These five brain pillars you know, ultimately impact how we acquire knowledge, you know, retain information, and apply learning. Okay, now, so how do we diagnose this? All right. Okay, the first step is to actually um, conduct a cognitive map. It is our assessment tool for us to identify the strength and weaknesses of the child across the five brain pillars. What we do with the strength and oppor with, with the um, opportunity areas and um, the things that needs to be improved are the things uh, that we want to address. And the strength, we want them to perform at their maximum potentials. Okay, so how does BrainFit Studio address this? Okay, we actually have five programs, okay? First is we have the sensory motor, which aims to improve the child's sensory motor skills, their gross and fine motor, uh, their balance and timing, which is very critical when we want them to uh, learn new sports, handwriting in school, okay? So any activities that involves their uh, motor planning, okay? The other one is that we have the visual processing, mm -hmm. okay? For this one, it is very vital in um, subjects in school like math and Chinese. It improves um, the child's um, visual processing, um, visual perceptual skills and memory, okay? And then the other one is that we have the auditory brain pillar. For this one, we want to improve up the child's comprehension, receptive and expressive skills, communication, okay, their auditory processing. And then the other one is that we have the focus and attention. We want the child to stay focused for a longer period of time. We want to control their impulses, Okay, and then the last one is the sensory motor. Uh, aside from enhancing their um, IQ, we want also to improve their EQ for them to be more positive and motivated all the time. Okay, so you actually achieve all these without including or without using what they study in school. So where did your programs originate? All right, um, Brinkett Studio originated from Singapore. Uh, it started in 2001 and has since expanded across Southeast Asia. No? We have branches in Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, uh, Turkey, and of course here in the Philippines. No? In the Philippines, we opened in 2011, and, has, uh, and we have three centers at the moment. We have one in Green Hills, and then another in Manila, downtown Manila, and uh, partner schools or, uh, in Makati, BGC. So, would this program actually benefit those with learning disabilities or with those who are quite, well, apprehensive in learning at school? Yes, definitely. Um, BrainFit Studio has trained um, kids diagnosed with um, learning difficulties like um, ADHD, autism, um, sensory motor um, issues, and the likes. No? Um, of course, each child has unique um, profile. So, uh, what we do is we try to modify the program to specifically address their needs. What about the gift? Dead. Will they also benefit from the program? Yes. No. Fortunately, uh, Brave Studio has, he has has helped train uh, students who are average or gifted students. No, just like physical fitness. No, that uh, which which can also benefit even the you know those with poor fitness levels or those who are top athletes. This uh, brain training can also help uh, uh, improve no? uh, either the average students or the gifted ones. Now, the gifted ones can still be you know, uh, challenged no? to perform at an even more higher or, an, or superior mental state. I see. So what age should we start diagnosing our mental fitness so we can maximize the brain's potential? All right. We have a program for as young as three years old, which we call the Brain Fit Junior. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is a, is a holistic program that uh, taps on the five uh, brain pillars in one, under one program. No? Uh, and then we also have the SMART programs which are dedicated programs, as mentioned by Teacher Iris. Uh, and this one caters to students from 4 to 18 years old. 
neuro because of the principle of neuroplasticity that the brain you know is very plastic so as long as we give our brain the right stimulation brain fitness training can you know benefit no even the young ones and even the older individuals no so from preschool until college yes yes definitely so can you invite our viewers to check out brain fit studio i'm inviting everyone to please attend here in our greenhouse studio 224 metro square building ortigas avenue quezon city uh, you may call us to reserve your slot at 725-8500 there you go. Thank you so much, Teacher Ivy and Teacher Jeanette. For the number of benefits of being brain fit, well, don't hesitate. Just drop by and check out Brain Fit Studio here in San Juan. Back to you, Hillary and Evelyn.